Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where I share the latest news and insights on the global economy and geopolitics. In today's video, I'm going to talk about a recent development that could have major implications for the Middle East and the world. Iraq's central bank revokes Iran's Bank Meli operating license. This is a big deal because Bank Meli Iran is the largest bank in Iran and it has been sanctioned by the U.S. Treasury since 2018 for allegedly funding the Iranian Revolutionary Guards and their proxies in Iraq and other countries. The U.S. has been trying to isolate Iran from the global financial system and prevent it from accessing U.S. dollars, which are essential for international trade and oil transactions. By revoking Bank Meli Iran's license, Iraq is showing that it is serious about complying with the U.S. sanctions and protecting its own interests. Iraq has more than $100 billion of its oil revenues held in the U.S. Federal Reserve, and it relies heavily on the U.S. goodwill to access them. Iraq also needs the U.S. support to maintain its security and stability amid the ongoing threats from ISIS and other militant groups. But this decision also comes with a cost for Iraq, as it could strain its relations with Iran its neighbor and ally. Iran and Iraq have close historical, religious, and cultural ties, and they have cooperated on various issues, such as fighting ISIS and supporting the Shia militias in Iraq. Iran also provides Iraq with electricity, gas, and other goods, and it is one of Iraq's largest trading partners. So how will this move affect the balance of power and influence in the region? Will Iran retaliate against Iraq or seek other ways to circumvent the U.S. sanctions? Will the U.S. reward Iraq for its cooperation or pressure it to do more? And what does this mean for the prospects of reviving the nuclear deal between Iran and the world powers? These are some of the questions that I will explore in this video, using the sources and facts that I have gathered from various articles and reports. If you want to learn more about this topic, you can check out the links in the description below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.